Bow down to Jesus. Hey, Oloru Agbaye o. You are mighty. Oloru Imale o. You are mighty. Hey, Father of my Father. You are mighty. Hey, the one in eternal life. You are mighty. Hey, Obatiko Oleku. You are mighty. Hey, Obatiko Olesha. Oh, 
Jehovah Shammah, Jehovah Nisi, you are my head. Jehovah Adonai. Oh, my God, you 
song of ascent. Amen. How many of us wants to ascend more? How many of us wants to ascend more? Amen. I will take the first verse, we will take the second verse, I will take the third one, you take the fourth one. Amen. In my distress, I, in my distress, I cried unto the Lord, and he heard me. What shall be given unto thee? Oh, what shall be done unto thee? Thou first tongue. Thou 
Woe is me that I sojourn in message, that I dwell in the tent of Kedar. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Behold, he that keepeth Israel, neither slumber nor sleep. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. I want us to demonstrate that. I want us to demonstrate that. Oh my God. I want us to demonstrate that. Show your gladness to God. Our feet shall stand within thy gate, O Jerusalem. Whither the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, unto the testimony of Israel, to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. For my brethren and companions' sakes, I will now say, Peace be within thee. The last one. Because of the house of the Lord, we seek thy good. Amen. Amen. Let somebody shout, Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes, without breaking that atmosphere of the spirit, as we are reading Psalms, can we proceed to Psalm 123? We'll be taking it through to 125. Amen. Amen. We'll follow that trend. We'll, I will take the first verse. We, we take the second one like that till we end it. So Psalm 123, can we help us project it to 125? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, as we are reading it, Please, I want our heart to be connected to the Lord. We are not just reading psalms. We are actually, you know, singing psalms to the Lord. Amen. It's a song of ascension. Psalms are what? Are songs. Amen. They are not just written, you know, by flesh. They are what? They are brought down by the atmosphere of the Spirit. Amen. Can we go? I will take the first verse. Unto thee lift I up my eyes, O thou that dwellest in the heavens. Have mercy upon us, O Lord. Have mercy upon us, for we are exceedingly filled with contempt. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, They that had swallowed us up quick. Then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. What has uh, the stream had gone over our soul? Then the proud water had gone over our soul. Bless the Lord who had not given us as a prey to their sin. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snares of the fowlers. This nest is broken, and we are escaped. To the Lord, who made heaven and the earth, they that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abide forever.
For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lord of the righteous. Let the righteous put forth their hand unto iniquities. Do good unto Can we take the last verse together? As for such as turn aside unto their crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquities. For peace shall be upon Israel. Hallelujah! But peace shall be upon Israel. Oh yeah. We say continue our reading. Can we continue with Psalm 126? Hallelujah. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. The Lord had done great things for us. Wherefore were we glad? They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Except the Lord build the house, the labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. Lo, children had the heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Happy is the man that at his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. For thou shalt eat the labor of thy hands. Happy shall thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Behold, that thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. Can we echo verse 6 together? Want to go? Thou shalt see thy children's children and peace upon Israel. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the same vein, we just read through to verse chapter 131. Chapter 131, we all read together from verse 1 to verse 3. So starting from chapter 129. Many a time have they afflicted me from my youth. May Israel now say, The plowers plowed upon my back. They made long their furrows. The Lord is righteous. He has cut asunder the cords of the wicked. Let them all be confounded and turn back that aid Zion. Let them be as the grass upon the housetops, which wither and for it groweth up. Wherewith the mower filled not his hand, nor he that bind their shaves his bosom. Neither do they which go by say. The blessing of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Out of the depth have I cried unto thee, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let thy ear be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquity, O Lord, who shall stand? There is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul doeth wait. And in his word do I hope. My soul waited for the Lord more than day which watch for the morning. I say more than day that watch for the morning. Lord, Israel, open the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy and with him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquity. We read together 1 to 3, chapter 131. 1 to go. Lord, my heart is not haughty. Nor my eyes lofty, neither do I exercise myself in great matters or in things too high for me. Surely I have behaved and quieted myself 
as a child that is weaned of his mother. My soul is even as a weaned child. Let Israel hope in the Lord from henceforth and forever. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Still in the spirit of thanksgiving, let's open our Bibles to Psalm 132. Amen. Amen. Okay, we'll read verse, I'll read verse 1, we'll read verse 2 till we read through. Lord, remember David and all his afflictions. Verse 2. Surely I will not come into the tabernacle of my house, nor go up into my bed. Verse 4. Until I find out a place for the Lord, an habitation for the mighty God of Jacob. We will go into his tabernacles and we will worship at his footstool. Thank you. Amen. Uh, where are we? Verse 9, thank you. Let um, your priests be clothed with righteousness and let your saints shout out for joy. Can we shout out for joy? Yeah. Hallelujah. Verse 10, let's read verse 10. The Lord has sworn in truth to David. He will not turn from it. I will set upon your throne the fruit of your body. Can we? For the Lord has chosen Zion as he has desired, as he has desired it for his dwelling place. I will abundantly bless our provision. I will satisfy our poor with bread. There will I make the horn of David grow. I will prepare a lamb for my anointed. Hallelujah. Psalm 133. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the dew of Ammon descending upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing, life forevermore. Amen. Amen. Let's read um. Psalm 134 together all ye servants who by night stand in the house of the Lord lift up your hands sanctuary and bless the Lord the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you from Zion Amen can we say Amen, amen. Hallelujah can we celebrate Jesus Then we are going to be reading from Psalm 135. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, O ye servants of the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises to his name, for it is, it is pleasant. For I know that the Lord is great, and our Lord is above all gods. He causes the vapor to ascend from the end of the earth. He makes lightning from the rain. He brings the wind out of his treasuries.
He sent signs and wonders into the midst of you, O Egypt. Upon Pharaoh and upon all his servants. Shion, king of the Amorites, all king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. Your name, O Lord, endures forever. Your fame, O Lord, throughout all generations. The idols of the nations are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have ears, but they do not hear, nor is there any breath in their mouths. Bless the Lord, O ye house of Israel. Bless the Lord, O ye house of Aaron. And together, verse 21. Bless be the Lord out of Zion, who dwelleth at Jerusalem. Praise ye the Lord. Can we praise the Lord? Uh, we are going to appreciate Jesus. Jesus has been faithful to us. We are giving thanks for, on behalf of children and, and teenagers' church. The Lord has been faithful to that gate. You know, this morning we are recounting the Lord's faithfulness. How the Lord preserve us. Just like we, have, we are doing today. You know, it's just one year exactly. It's just like one day. But a whole lot of things have happened. A whole lot of things, you know, has gone. But Jesus Christ has preserved. Jesus, we say thank you. We say thank you. From our babies, we say thank you. Yes, for all those, those toddlers, we say thank you, Jesus. For all our senior kids, we say thank you, Jesus. The Lord has kept them. The Lord has kept them from noise and pestilence. He has delivered them from the arrows that fly at by day and the one that wasted at new. We say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for our preteens. The Lord has preserved them. The Lord has kept them. They are going and they are coming. The Lord has kept them. He said in his word that he will give his angels charge over them. And the Lord has done this. Can we say thank you, Jesus? Even our teenagers is not left out. The Lord has also preserved them. We, we do not have any experience that they have to call any of the parents that this student has been kidnapped that these children cast eat any one of them. The Lord has preserved them all. Can we say thank you, Jesus? You know, there's something that we thank the Lord for in our gates. You know, this year has been so tremendous. Our children has grown so much. We know what, what we faced last year. We know what we faced last two years. But this year, we have seen them change. We have seen them change. I mean, they are so respectful. They are so beautiful. You know, from, from those little children. You know, you might not see them as they are doing something, but we are seeing them. They praise the Lord. They sing. They worship the Lord. Today they have danced. Can we just give, give God thanks for adding to our children? Can we say thank you, Jesus? Ah, Lord, we say thank you. Thank you for adding to our children. Ah, you say out of the mouth of babies and sucklings have you ordained praise so that you would steal the voice of the avengers. We say thank you, Jesus. Ah, thank you for always sending your angels to teach these children, to help them, to help them, to help, to aid them. We say thank you, Jesus. You are giving them so much beautiful memory that when we call them, they can recount. Even those children, they will recount and they will recount. They will recount. Father, we say thank you. He gave us a word in the beginning of this year that I, Jesus Christ Himself, He says, I'm watching over them. And I will build them, I will raise them up. And he has fulfilled that word this year. We have enjoyed ceaseless, you know, we of presence. In all our meetings, there has been presence upon presence. You know, God has not left us without a witness. We say, thank you, Jesus. Can we shout, thank you, Jesus. None of us, see, our, our teacher could have done this. Even our teacher had not left us. The Lord also has given them, you know, he put his word in their mouth. 
utterance upon utterance, even beyond the level of our preparation, the Lord brings His word. And we see it in level of breaking words down. The Lord has really increased us. Can we say thank you, Jesus, for the teachers of children? Yeah, all the pastors of children, from those kiddies, you know, jumping with them, dancing with them, you know, they do it with so much excitement. It's like, you know, Jesus Christ has come to tabernacle with us. Can we say thank you, Jesus? Can we say thank you, Jesus? Lord, we say thank you. Ah, we say thank you for what you are doing in our church, children and teenagers church. We say thank you. We, all of us, were witnesses when we did children and, children and teenagers day. We saw what was happening. We saw the atmosphere. It's a function of what is going on on their inside. You cannot give what you don't have. Truly, God is working in, on the inside of our children. Our children are not just people that have memorized anything. They are people that, you know, they are living this truth out according to the measure which the Lord has given to them. Can we say thank you, Jesus? Ah, Lord, we say thank you. Thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. No parent have called any one of us that this child is giving us so much problem. Even those those ones that were newly added to us, we have seen, you know, we have seen changes. You know, sometimes when some came, you know, we had to report that this boy is very troublesome. We just said, don't worry, just give them time. There's a grace in this house that changes people. There's a grace in this house that changes people. And over time, we see these children become so beautiful. Then we begin to wonder, is it not that boy that came? I mean, with this space of some months, things have really happened. Can we say thank you, Jesus? Yes, it's not, it's not about anybody. It's all about Jesus. It's not because we know how to preach. It's not because we know how to break things down. It's because the Lord, the Lord, the Lord is indeed in the midst of his people. He said the Lord in the midst of his people is mighty. He said he will save. And the Lord is saving our children. The Lord is saving our teenagers. The Lord is saving them. The Lord is One of them traveled in no praise. She was crying. That she doesn't want to miss what is happening here. She has to tell us that we have to be streaming these things so that she can be partaker. If nothing is happening here, she will never say that. She was crying. We have to, we have to pray that, that. Don't worry. We will do something. We will send the message to you. You know, the children, the children and the teachers conference that we had. So, so many breakthroughs. So many successes. I mean, those children that came, they were so blessed. Can we say thank you, Jesus? What I'm just here to do is that to say God has been faithful to us. But it's not just, you know, in churches, people abandon children at teenagers' church. I just leave them, you know, it's where they keep children that are disturbing. Let them just feed them so that they will give us space. No, that is not what we are doing here. Because children are the heritage of the Lord. He, and we are giving him praise that he has not actually left them. He has given all the resources. I want us to the Lord has given resources both in the spirit and also in the natural. Anytime we ask God, you know, God playing in the hand of our parent in the house to supply those needs. We are not slacking. Jesus, we say thank you, Jesus, for this. Can we say thank you, Jesus? Can we say thank you, Jesus? Can we say thank you, Jesus? Ah, Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. If we start from now till tomorrow, we will not stop thanking you. For what we don't even remember, we say thank you. Yes, for what we, you, you did, even when we are not seeing it, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We say thank you, Jesus. We say thank you, Jesus. Amen.
Thank you, Father. Can we read, open our Bibles to Psalm 106? Uh, we're still in that atmosphere of counting uh, out thanks unto God. Psalm 136. Um, amen. So we'll read together. We all read together from verse 1 to verse 26. We all chorus the Psalms together. Are we there? Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. We are reading together. We are reading together. So one, two, three, go. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of God, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who alone doeth great wonders, for his mercy endures forever. To him that by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that stretched out the heads above the waters, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that made great lights, for his, for his mercy endureth forever. The sun to rule by day, for his mercy endureth forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that smote Egypt in their firstborn, for his mercy endureth forever. And brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endureth forever. With a strong hand and with a stretched out arm, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which divided the Red Sea into parts, for his mercy endureth forever. And made Israel to pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endureth forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which smote great kings, for his mercy endureth forever, and slew famous kings, for his mercy endureth forever. Sion king of the Amorites, for his mercy endureth forever, and Hog the king of Bashan, for his mercy endureth forever, and gave their land for an heritage, for his mercy endureth forever, even an heritage unto Israel his servant, for his mercy endureth forever, who remembered us in our lowest state. For his mercy endureth forever, and hath redeemed us from our enemies, for his mercy endureth forever, who giveth food to all flesh, for his mercy endureth forever. O oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven, for his mercy endureth forever. Father, we give you thanks. We lift your name on high, O oh God. You are the one whose bowel is full of mercy. Your mercy flows from eternity to eternity. All everlasting is filled with your mercy. The whole earth is full of your glory because your mercy reaches to the uttermost part of the earth. Thank you for your mercy over this house. Thank you, O oh God, for your mercy over every flock, over every sheep, every member, every disciple, everyone you have added, every soul you have added over this house. Thank you, O oh God, because... Truly, you are the shepherd of your people. He said, the Lord is our shepherd, and we shall not want. Because you've been our shepherd, we have not want. You have daily supplied us with bread. Bread has not been lacking on our table. Thank you for meals of life. Thank you for setting tables before us. Thank you for feast of every day. Thank you for light. Thank you for openings. Thank you for not holding back yourself from us. Thank you for opening yourself up. You have opened up yourself to us. You have shown us secret things. Great things too much for the minds of man to break into. You have broken through before us. You have been the Lord ahead of this host. You have led us from waters to waters. You have led us as a flock of your own. In all our afflictions, you have been afflicted. In all our troubles, Lord, you have been troubled. In all the victory we have enjoyed, it has been you. At the center of it all, we have seen you. In the midst of your people, as the Lord of hosts, we have seen you. You are the lion that, 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 that stands, that sits couched. In the midst of your people, defining who we are. You are the one that Balaam met when he came to cause us. You are the one that stood our ground and declared that we are yours. You are the one that stood for us when great waters, stormy waters, would have overwhelmed us. 
You stood for us as a mighty man in battle. You are the one that sends and backs up. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for your mercy. In your mercy, you have destroyed great kings. In your mercy, you have fallen princes. In your mercy, great victories have been wrought in the city of Elorin. In your mercy, you have raised a people. In your mercy, heaven is being occupied on the, by, by the day. In your mercy, a people are having ascension. In your mercy, men who were crooked are finding straight paths. In your mercy, you have kept the people. You have kept your flock. We have not lost anyone this year. From 2022 January up to this December, we have not had any cause to mourn over any soul. You have kept us day and night on the roads, on the bikes, in the vehicles. Let night when meeting finishes, it has been you, O oh God. It has been you, O oh God. It has been you, O oh God. Oh God, we say it has been you. It has been you, O oh God. We acknowledge your faithfulness. Bible says your counsel of hold. They are faithful and they are true. Your counsel in our midst, you are proven to be faithful. You are truly the merciful and faithful high priest. You are able, you are able to identify with us in all our weaknesses, in all our infirmities. You have bared with us. You have bared with us and you have raised us up above them. You have said to us, my strength is made perfect in weaknesses. And in you we rejoice. In your strength we rejoice. In your strength we have learned to, to rejoice. We have come to know that the Lord is our strength. We have come to know the Lord as our salvation. We have also come to know the Lord as the joy over us. You are the joy over us. We have come to set our face as a flint. We thank you, our Father. We lift your name on high. We have only come today to acknowledge that at the center of every victory we went through, every process, every dealing, at the center of it all, we see you. We see you, Jesus. Jesus, we see you. The captain of the host of God, we see you. You are the captain. You are the captain of our salvation. You are the captain of the host of salvation. You are the company of the company of salvation. You are leading us from company to company. You are leading us to, from places to places. You are being the cap over us. You are the wood over us. You are the cherub that covers over us. You are the mighty one with wings. Bible says the angel of the Lord encamp around them that fear the Lord. You are the angel of the presence of God who has encamped around us. You are the angel of the presence of the Lord who has been a shorty. You are the wall of fire all around us. You are salvation. You are our 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 salvation. You are the one who has put a new song in our mouth. You have put a new song in our mouth. We sing songs that men at the moment cannot learn because you have led us through to put new songs. You have put new songs in our mouth, new judgments, new thoughts. Thank you, Father. Thank you for shepherds after your heart that you have raised over us. Thank you for wombs that bet us. Thank you for wombs that carries us. Thank you for travels. Thank you for tears. Thank you for help. Thank you for passions of your heart that we see in your servants that you placed over us. Thank you for the jealousy of your heart that we see displayed in your servants you placed over us. Lord, we have come this day over every flock in this house. The light us apostolic center, Lord. We have come to say thank you. Father, we have come to say thank you. We have come to say thank you. We have come to say you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy of all our praises, of all our thanks, because your mercy is endure. Your mercy endures. Your mercy is everlasting. Your mercy is eternal. Your mercy is everlasting to us. Your mercy is eternal to us. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He said, except the Lord, the Lord build the house. They that labor, labors in vain. Except the Lord keep back the city. They that wake up in the night, early in the morning, wake up in vain. He said, Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord. The fruit of the womb is his reward. Lord, we thank you that you have granted us help and grace to be called your heritage, to be called the heritage of the Lord. Thank you for every conversion in souls. He said, except you be converted and be as little children, you shall by no means enter into the kingdom. We thank you for conversions that has made us from old men, from old man, from old beast, that has made us to become children. Children, children, children in the womb of the morning. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the promise and the hope that you have sworn to give us. Thank you for the hope of eternal life that is gradually becoming our hope. It's becoming the one thing we are seeing. We thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. Thank you for journeys. Thank you for journey mercies. Thank you for mercies of journey. Truly, the mercy of journey is a journey from straight to straight. He said, blessed is the man whose strength is in you. He said, they passed through the valley of Baca. They made it a well. They passed through the valley of weeping. We have passed through the valley of weeping. We've made it a well. It has sprung up. It has sprung up into everlasting life. We have seen wells springing up. Wells have sprung up because you have given us a seed. You have allotted portions unto us in your inheritance. Oh, what great love you have bestowed upon us that we should be called children of God. Is that the world does not know us because they could not know you. This is our confidence. This is our rejoicing. This is our joy that our God, the God that made the heavens and the earth, our God whose tabernacle, whose strength fills the temple, our God who is exalted far above the heavens, our God who rides upon the cloud of the winds, our God whose beams of his, of his chambers are in the waters, our great God who is clothed with majesty and honor that he has been our God. What a privilege that this God is our God. So Lord, we say thank you for being God over us, for being Father over us. Thank you, Father. As I ask, we say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's thank, let's thank the Lord one more time. Let's thank him for his presence in our midst and the witnesses of the Spirit that are coming. Thank you for the fellowship of the Spirit. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for gathering with us. Thank you for your hosts that are here. We 
bless you, Jesus. Amen. We are thanking God for that, for all the great things he has done. Um, I'm leading us a thanksgiving for the access that the Lord has given to us this year to pasture and fountains. You know, the things that have sustained our souls. And we're also thanking the Lord for all the families I believe we've been added to this year. God has added children or maybe fruit of the womb. Then he has added um, families. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to take this song for us to, you know, it, it's a very short song, but you may not know it, just like five lines. It says, think about his love. Think about his goodness. Think about his grace. Have we captured that? Think about his love. Think about his goodness. Think about his grace that brought us through. For as high as the heavens above, so great is the measure of our Father's love. Great is the measure of our Father's love. So we'll just sing it a few times then. We will thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Think about his love. Think about his goodness. Think about his grace that brought us through. For as long, for as high as the heavens above, so great is the measure of our Father's love. Great is the measure of our Father's love. Think about this love. Think about this goodness. Think about this grace that brought us through. For as high as the heavens above, so great is the measure of our Father's love. Great is the measure of our Father's love. Let's lift our voices and take that song. Think about this love. Think about his goodness. Think about his good. Heavens above. So great is the measure. So great is the measure.
We think about our goodness. We think, we think, <laughs> we think, we think about your love. We think about your grace. We think about your grace. We think about the fullness of your grace that has brought us through. Oh, for as high as the heavens above, so great has your love towards us been. Great, great, so great has the Father's love been to us. We think, we think, we think. Can you think? Can you reflect? Can you reflect upon his goodness? Can you reflect upon his love? <laughs> Can you, can you thank him for the remission of sins? Can you thank him for remission of sins? Can you thank him for administration of water, of life that has come unto our, unto our souls for the remission of our sins? Can you thank him for purging? Can you thank him for change of nature? Can you thank him for administration of life to you? Can you thank him for administration of strength to you? We thank you, Jesus. We reflect, we reflect, we think, we reflect Jesus and we bring worship to you. We bring worship, we bring worship, <laughs> we bring worship, we bring worship, we bring worship. We thank you for your grace, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you Jesus for these commodities, oh these commodities of the world to come. Can you thank him for allowing us to taste of the powers of the age to come, <laughs> of his good word, the good word of God. Can you thank him for heavenly gift, for granting us permission to partake of his heavenly gift? We thank you, Jesus, the things that are only, the things that are precious in your sight, the things that are peers of the kingdom, that you've granted access to our souls to touch. We say thank you. We say thank you, Jesus. You have counted us worthy to partake of your only things. You have counted us worthy to partake of peers of the kingdom. You have made our lives beautiful. You have made our lives beautiful. You say you will beautify the meek with salvation. You are beautifying our soul with your salvation. You are, you are taking our own things. You are giving us your things. Thank you for all the exchange in the spirit. Thank you for all the exchange in the spirit. Oh, live on no more, Sheta. Oh, set up, Rogodo, Sheta. Hallelujah. I want us to thank the Lord. Two, two verses, two scriptures we, we will use to thank the Lord for what He has done for us, what He has done for our souls. Matthew 13 11. You know, if you read from verse 10, Matthew 13, it says, And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered, verse 11, Matthew 13, 11, He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Can you connect with these words? I'm, no, I'm seeing some faces that are not connected to me. Please, let our hearts be together. Can you connect to this scripture? That to you, it is given. Can you point your hand to yourself? To me, it has been given to understand the mysteries of the kingdom. But to some people, it has not been given. So what have you done to qualify to be among those that it has been given unto? To understand mysteries of the kingdom. That's what they call mercy. Daddy Oyegoke said, you know, one of the statements he made, he said, somebody can be meek. And yet they may not give the person what? He was talking about eternal life. He said somebody, so you can even do something to qualify for it. And yet, if you don't find mercy, they may not give you. So the difference between to you it is given, to them it is not given. Whoever did them may be, it is mercy. Can you thank the Lord for that mercy? It's not because I am worthy. It's not because I did anything or I prayed specially or I fasted Then the Lord granted me breakthrough. He has chosen me by mercy to be able to understand mysteries of the kingdom. Mysteries have come to us this year. Mysteries have come to us in abundance. Mystery of Christ. Mystery of the Father. Mystery of God is coming to us. Thank you, Lord. 
it's a great privilege you have bestowed on us. It's a great privilege you have bestowed on us as a people. You said to you it is given to understand the mysteries of the kingdom. To them it is not given. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us access. Oh, Jesus, thank you for access to pastures. Pastures of life. Living pastures. Eternal pastures. Thank you for access by mercy. Thank you for every soul in this house. Even our children can understand mysteries of the kingdom. Even little, little children... They are singing songs of eternal life. Oh, what mercy you have bestowed on us. We say thank you. Say thank you. Thank you for every soul in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being the great shepherd over us. That is leading us in and out. That is feeding us with your pastures. We are grateful, Lord. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for preservation of our souls by mercy. By your word, by your truths. Hallelujah. One more scripture. Let's see First Peter chapter 1. Let's see verse. Um, verse 10. I'm going to 11 actually. No, I'm going to 12. But let's see from 10, 10 to 12. Of which, 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 10. Of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently. Who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. Searching what or what manner of. Are we opening our Bible since the screens are off? Okay, they are up now. Please let's look at the screen. Verse 11. Searching what or what manner of time the spirit of Christ which was in them did signify when he testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow, unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves but unto us they did minister the things. Are we following? Not unto what he's talking about the prophets that those things they are writing, those things were mysteries that were not opened unto them. Like Daniel, he was seeking to understand. They said the book must be closed until the time of the end. That time of the end is the time we are in now. So they wrote those things down for us. To them, it was not given. The access was not given to understand. So he said, verse 12, unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves, but unto us, they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven. Which things? The angels desire to look into the things the things we laugh about now I don't mean mock as in for instance if you come to our own home when we our normal conversations you the things you'll be hearing will be mysteries uh, which is that everlasting life okay or maybe that's you actually okay maybe that's to me that's our normal conversation that's what I mean by the things you laugh over not as as in you mock some prophets that wrote those things that you are bringing down now. They were not granted understanding. Then even angels as high as they are. They, too, they said which things the angels desire to look. Not just see fiscal to understand. So something has been committed to our, our you know, treasure in Etsin Vesu. I want you to once again thank God for yourself. What did you see in me? Why would you agree? give me a sense you didn't give Daniel? Why would you give me access you did not give Ezekiel? They just wrote those things for us. Why would you give me access you did not give Isaiah? Why would you give me access that the angels do not have? Can we thank the Lord for these things? Can we thank the Lord for... We do not take these things for granted, Lord. Even though we, the least of us can understand everlasting life, can talk about first walk, last walk, but yet these things are great. They are of things of our importance in the spirit. There are many, even the prophets that looked into it that could not understand. Even angels that desire to look into it. Lord, we say thank you. 
We say thank you for access. Once again, to access to mysteries of the kingdom. We say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you for access to mysteries of the kingdom. Thank you for believing in us. Oh, Jesus. Thank you for the commitment of your spirit. I want us to thank God for the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven. If not for the Holy Ghost. He said, he said no I. He said, you know, that's in first. Corinthians 2 verse 9. He said, I has not seen, he has not heard. It has not entered into the heart of man. The things God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed them by his spirit. Can we thank God for the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven that is making these things accessible to us. Holy Spirit is able to come down to everybody's level and feed us, feed us as a father we feed his children. Thank you, Holy Spirit, sent down from heaven. Thank you for shining light upon the world. Thank you for causing the world to open up to us. Even the least of us can understand mysteries of the kingdom. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for your labor over us. Thank you for not giving up. Thank you for shining light. Shining light. Thank you for granting access. Thank you for granting access to your truth. Thank you for granting access. Thank you for bringing to our remembrance all the things that the, Lord, that the Lord has spoken. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you for the ministry of revelation. Thank you for the ministry of revelation. Can we thank God for, for God's servant and all the ministers God has raised for us? Can we thank the Holy Ghost for helping them? He said, Holy Ghost has made overseers. So it is Holy Ghost that made them overseers. Can we thank God for the Holy Ghost for sending these people to us? Can we thank God for the ministry of the Holy Ghost that is opening up the world to them? Thank you, Lord, because our pastors do not lack bread to feed us with. Thank you for granting access to your servants and to all the leaders you have raised for us. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for sending them to us. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for giving us overseers, shepherds after your heart, who will feed us with knowledge and understanding. Can you thank the Lord specially that your, your shepherd is not an Ayalin? That your shepherd is not an Ayalin. That your shepherd is not an Ayalin. Who will take your gold, we take your silver, we take everything that belongs to you. Who will starve your soul? Can you thank God for making him to be a shepherd after his heart? Who is feeding us with knowledge and understanding? Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you for giving us a shepherd that, that is after your heart. Who can feed us with knowledge and understanding? Thank you because you have fed our souls with knowledge and understanding. We are growing. We are changing. We are maturing in the spirit. We are mounting up with wings as the eagles. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We cannot thank you enough. These things are great things you have done. Marvelous things. Oh, we can't thank you enough. We say thank you. Hallelujah. Before we thank the Lord for families, maybe the next five minutes, can we also thank God for preserving our leaders, preserving God's servants. You remember, there was a time Pastor Hewai shared one of the stories with us in the Bible, where David was went with them to war. And then one Philistine just tried to, it was narrow escape. The Philistine wanted to, you know, slay him. And then one of the um, um, soldiers had to come. And was like, you won't follow us again to war. Lest the enemy quench the light of Israel. And he was trying to lay emphasis on wait, light of Israel. There are some people that if God does not stand as shield, an enemy touch them. A generation, before a generation re recovers. There's nothing we can do about it. Imagine if Paul... If Paul is not in the kingdom, or was not in the kingdom. You understand? So I want us to thank the Lord, because the enemy tried several ways to quench light. He said, smite the shepherd, and the sheep will scatter. But for the Lord to have, you know, shielded us as a fold, and keep the shepherd from being smitten, he has, he has done a great thing. I want us to thank the Lord for our shepherd and all the shepherds in this house that how the Lord has preserved him and preserved us. How he has not, please thank the Lord. Thank him. How the Lord has not allowed the, he said, he said, my enemies pushed me violently that I may fall. But you were my stay. It is not because they did not push him. But 
God was his stay. God stayed him. God stayed him. He said the Akas shot at him. It's not because the Akas did not shoot. But the Lord stood. The Lord is counsel prevailed. We said thank you for preservation. We thank you for preserving your servant. We thank you for preserving me. We thank you for preserving all our ministers in this in this house and all our ministers in the Zion churches. We thank you for preserving him. We thank you for the gift of Reverend Kyodio Yegoki and his wife. We thank you for preservation for them all. We give glory to you. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us, before I go, I want us to thank God for the families. The scripture coming to my heart is, marriage is holy, the bed undefiled. And I don't know why. Maybe it's also some, a blessing the Lord has given us that we want us to thank him for. I don't think we brought a sister and a brother out here before. That they, the sister is pregnant before marriage. And then every, all the brethren are crying. And the, those brethren too, and then I say, no, so from now on they will sit at the back. It is mercy. Mercy keeping sisters and brothers. People are coming to marriage with their bodies preserved. Nobody's used for fornication. It's a testimony the Lord has given to us. I want us to thank God for it. And in this coming year, it will yet increase. We are not going to suffer the reproach of the adversary. We are going to have young men and young women who have self-control, who can possess their vessels in sanctification and in honor. You know, people that can keep the marriage bed undefiled. I want us to thank the Lord for all the, all the marriages he has blessed us with. And how the Lord has kept their beds. Even those in marriage, how the Lord has kept their beds undefiled. How the Lord has kept the men from lust and perversion that is in the world. How the Lord has kept the women also from strange men, strange lovers. You know, how the Lord has preserved our home. How the Lord has made our homes only. Our beds are holy. Our marriages are holy. Please thank him. Thank him. Thank him for this testimony of righteousness. This testimony of righteousness. Thank you for not allowing the enemy to reproach us. Thank you for not allowing the enemy to, to defile our garments. Thank you for keeping our marriages holy. Thank you for keeping the beds undefiled. Thank you for the blessing of marriages in this house. Thank you for the blessing of families in this house. Blessing of families. We say thank you. We say thank you. I want us to thank the Lord for every child. Some of these children, you know, even before they were six months, some of them were sick. You know, when a little baby is sick, you are afraid. But, ah, hey. Some of them were born before nine months. Immunity low. And they, their heads were challenged at some point. But the Lord stood. Can we thank the Lord for all the little children? How the Lord has preserved them. How the Lord, those below one year, those above one year, how the Lord has preserved them. Our children go to school. The Lord keep them from us. The Lord keep them from harm. They play. They do a manner of things. The Lord preserves them. The Lord has kept them. Thank God for all the children in the families. We say thank you. We say thank you. Hallelujah. Singles, you are also part of our families. All of us, as we are here, we are in families. Can we thank the Lord for all the singles? We oftentimes we close late and you still get home safely. Some people went out the way you went out and they did not return. They tried their line, you was not going, they didn't know where they were. Can you thank him for mercy that has kept you? Mercy that has kept every single in this house. Mercy that has kept every single preservation of our bodies, preservation of our souls, preservation of our spirits. We give glory to you, Lord. We thank you for families, children, singles. We thank you for men and women. We thank you, Jesus, for your faithfulness. Lord, we are grateful. Hallelujah. Lastly, before I go, because my time is up, I believe that the Lord has blessed us with more finances this year than the previous year. Families, families and singles. The Lord has blessed us with more finances. Can we thank him for, for sending prosperity to families and even to individuals in this house? Can you thank the Lord for blessing of finance? It's a blessing. It's a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for blessing families with increased finances in this year. Thank you for blessing singles with increased finances. Thank you for access to get money. It's a privilege. Lord, we say thank you to you. We say thank you for increasing us financially this year. Thank you because we are not hungry. 
None of the family is begging for food. Thank you, Jesus. Nobody has come here before. No bank. Bank, uh, what do they call them? After church, they want to see pastor. Mr. So, 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 he's only us this. Thank you for blessing our families. Thank you for not allowing families to be frustrated as a result of intense financial pressure. Thank you for sending help. Sending help. Additions from different sides. Thank you for singles. Thank you for blessing in the name of Jesus. Thank you also for academics of the singles. Thank you for your blessings over their academics. We give glory to you, Lord. We give praise to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We are grateful. We can't thank you enough. But Lord, we say thank you. We, we, we keep saying thank you. We keep saying thank you. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> thank you, Jesus. Let's thank him. Let's wave our hands to him. Let's say thank you. We honor you, Lord. <clears throat> we honor you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. For as high as the heavens above, so great is the measure of our Father's love. Great is the measure of our Father's love. For as I as the heavens above, so great is the measure of our Father's love. the measure of I see you. I see this. I see the hearts. I see your hearts. My paria suveli campro protoscovelia. I see fountains. Maria and Dakosh at a villain to see Vernon. I see fountains breaking forth. I see fountains of tents. Fountains of praises. Fountains of Fainama de Klahiri and the Coast of Felia. I go Brahat Shibra and the Suvelia. I go Goru Brat Sivenon. I see how fountains are breaking forth. Even fountains of tents given from your heart. For you see, my Toligra and the Toscove Vilihan. Brehande Toscove Verianda Koshkabro Veli Astevenon. I Rugadea Saint to Sivanan. Brian to see ya. I see ya. I meant to see ya. I'm to see ya. Meant to see ya. Sight to see ya. Meant to see ya. It is see. It is sight. It is a whole lot of sight. It is a whole lot of sight that you have demonstrated in giving thanks. You have demonstrated sight. You have demonstrated sight. Even praises as comfort. Malidra Bastevovia, and they are sweet smelling. 
They are sweet smelling. They are sweet smelling fragrance. They are sweet smelling fragrance. Brando Sovelia, for which my heart also rejoices, hear the Lord. My heart rejoices in your midst. My heart rejoices in your midst. My heart rejoices in your midst that you are not brute. You, you are not brute. You, you are not such a people who do not know that which has been accomplished in their midst. My Ruva Kandari Zubalian. Jameru Kapolia, even though much more has been accomplished, that your tongues have been able to capture. But you see, I see the heart. I see the heart. I see the heart. I see the heart. My love figure, Manate, Embradustavan, Erianko, Jamila, Tevinate, Briando Suvelio, I go, go, Rubra, Nate, Fili, Candio. I rejoice in your midst, of the Lord. I rejoice in your midst. I rejoice in the praises of your lips. See the spirit of the Lord. Because she's my baby. 